So the Burning Man Festival was canceled last month because of COVID-19. And when it was, we suggested a new event to take its place called Burning Mask. That would be five days of totally free breathing in the desert. You could just open your mouth and air would come in. Totally unimpeded by moist cotton clinging to your face. Well, today, the CDC, which obviously watches the show, came around to our idea, and they announced that we actually don't need masks anymore. Anyone who is fully vaccinated can participate in indoor and outdoor activities, large or small, without wearing a mask or physical distancing. That was Rochelle Walensky, the CDC director, who's clearly had a kind of road to Damascus conversion. It was just a few days ago, and we checked the tape, and it's real that this very same Rochelle Walensky, if that's her real name, was telling us that she wouldn't let her vaccinated son go to summer camp. It was that dangerous. And the CDC, of course, was telling us all to triple mask, which we did, and turn blue from oxygen loss. They were telling people to wear masks outdoors at sporting events and concerts, on your bicycle while jogging. But that's all gone now. Now we don't need to wear masks. The White House has also caught on to this. They're now admitting that you're allowed to ask questions about the coronavirus vaccine. Whoa! Well, vaccines are, are great and they're having a massive impact. Um, all questions that people have are reasonable, whether it's for themselves or their children. Oh, so you are allowed to ask questions about the coronavirus vaccine. It doesn't make you an anti-vaxxer, but you're not allowed to refuse it. You can ask all the questions you want, but in the end, you will take it. And if you don't, Joe Biden declared today, you will wear your mask forever. But if you've not been vaccinated, or if you're getting a two-shot vaccine, and you've not gotten your, you only had your first shot, but not your second, or you haven't waited the full two weeks after your second shot, you still need to wear a mask. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. President of the United States announcing that he somehow has the power to decide what you wear. Hmm, that's never happened before. Miranda Devine isn't from this country, but she watches carefully. She's a columnist with the New York Post. She joins us tonight. Miranda, thanks so much for coming on. I have just one question for you, and it's a totally sincere question, as most of the questions on this show are. If you have been vaccinated, and more power to you, not against it at all, why are you worried about whether or not other people wear masks? How are maskless people or any people, regardless of infection status, a threat to you if you've been fully vaccinated? Honestly. Well, honestly, I do think it's because of this concept of herd immunity that uh, the more people who get vaccinated, the more the virus recedes and, you know, eventually would be stamped out like mumps and rubella and polio and so on. Um, but. Uh, the, the fact is that the, this government, this administration, has done such a terrible job of selling the vaccine. You have, um, you know, the science has not changed uh, for, for this, uh, you know, miraculous hallelujah moment today where suddenly uh, we're told the bleeding obvious, which is that if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask. But Joe Biden was one of the first people in the country to get vaccinated back in December. Uh, and he's been clinging to his mask like a security blanket ever since. You know, a couple of weeks ago, he came outside and gave a press conference because the CDC had announced you didn't need to wear a mask outside if you've been vaccinated. And he wore a mask to the podium outside to announce that. And, uh, you know, he just sends the message with everything he has done that he does not believe that the vaccines work. Well, right. And so, of course, well, that's people are going to be sceptical. Well, but you make the point so clearly. He and his ridiculous vice president kissing her husband while they're both wearing masks yeah. outside after they've been vaccinated. Displays like that have done more than any anti-vaxxer or forbidden figures like Robert Kennedy Jr., who everyone, I guess, is required to hate for some reason. Way more than any of those people, Kamala and Joe Biden have undermined confidence in the vaccines. They did it from day one. Remember when they were saying that they didn't trust a vaccine that Donald Trump had anything to do with. Uh, Andrew Cuomo in New York was going to set up his own little test lab to figure out if the vaccine actually worked. And then he got desperate because New Yorkers were saying, we don't want it. Uh, you know. It's, it's a very delicate thing, and, and 
when they had the pause after the Johnson and Johnson vaccine had a few blood clot issues, uh, a, a coupled with their sort of mixed messages on the vaccine, of course, vaccine take up went down the tubes. Um, they are they they don't believe in the vaccine, and yet they're forcing everybody to wear masks. Uh, it makes no sense. If the camel lady is kissing her husband while wearing a mask outside <laughs> after she claims to have been vaccinated, I mean, uh, that does not inspire confidence at all. At all. <laughs> it's weird, too. Miranda, thank you. Weird. Really weird. <laughs> thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Tucker.